Mitch Hansel was 96 years and they were reviewed this time of The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, Famble the Hunter, or Fimble the Hunter, and Warg. Uh, yeah, so I um, might be pronouncing their names wrong, and uh, probably am, but, but there you go. So let's go into the packaging. As you can see, you got a nice picture of uh, the character here. It looks really good. I like it a lot. You got the things there. On the back, a nice big picture of the pack. You get a little um, uh, a bio of... Uh, of the uh, the character and everything, they get a little bio of the movie itself. So yeah, so now uh, let's let's go into detail in uh, with Fimball the Hunter. All right, so here's the figure that comes with this pack, and uh, overall looks very nice. First of all, just going into the head sculpt, it's really cool. I think that's really well done. They did a tremendous job sculpting it, and uh, really seems a. Uh, Pretty pretty accurate to the movie, and I really like it. Uh, the way that the paint was applied was really nice. They did like a uh, kind of brown coat of paint, and then did like a black wash throughout it. Really cool. Gives it a lot of texture and everything, which looks awesome. And his actual body sculpt is pretty nice, and everything. Like the way that the shoes are sculpted, they look really cool. So yeah, so um, he does come with this big uh, kind of um, cape, I guess you can say. It's got some awesome detail up here. Let's see if we can focus. But yeah, it looks awesome, and it's got, uh, you know, some uh, gray, yellow, and red highlights in it, which looks pretty nice. And then the whole cape itself is really well done. Really love it, especially the edges, how it's all, like, serrated and everything. It gives it a lot of texture. Looks awesome. It's really well done. It's gray with a black wash, and uh, just extremely well done, in my opinion. He does have this kind of, like, loincloth and everything. Unfortunately, it is um, kind of out, because when I'll, I'll go into more detail once I uh, talk about him on the... Um, on uh, the warg, but um, the his loincloth or whatever is soft rubber plastic, so it does allow him to sit on the uh, the the wolf really well. But it does bend it, unfortunately, which is a shame. But overall, you know, it looks fine because typically, if you're gonna have him on the wolf, you could probably just keep him there. And if you're not, then you're not, and you won't have a problem anyway. But overall, just really well done. As far as articulation, he's very good. He's got a ball joint head, ball hinge shoulders, hinge swivel elbows, swivel wrist, swivel waist, ball hinge hips, hinge swivel uh, knees, and uh, no ankles. So overall, great articulation. Pretty standard. Um, I'm noticing for this uh, for this um, uh, Hobbit toy line. So that's pretty good. He comes with a spear, um, which is really cool. It's got a serrated uh, end right there, which looks nice. And then you've got a uh, got it right there. It's cool, kind of like a hunting spear. Uh, he does use this multiple times in the movie, at least you see it multiple times. So that is an extremely accurate accessory, considering he uses it a, uh, a lot. So um, if we can just get him to stand, you just got to get him in the right position. I'm used to having him on the uh, the wolf, so it's it's kind of hard to get him to stand after that. And then he does come with this. Um, I don't know what you call this, like a, it's a, like a club, but it's um it's got a bunch of a uh, detail on it. Let's see if we can focus. Yeah, there you go. It's really nice. It looks like a piece of wood that's had uh, spikes, you know, tied onto it. Looks really well. The detail on these things are extremely well done. Then he's got this little blade. Overall, it looks pretty awesome. There you go. It looks really cool. Really loving it. So that's incredible. So some awesome accessories. He definitely comes with uh, some cool accessories. So now let's go over Warg. So here he is with uh, Oaken Shield and the Goblin. I um I think he's in pretty good scale. I'm not sure what the scale is to orcs, dwarves, and goblins, but uh it looks pretty good. He's the tallest out of all of them, and uh, I think that's pretty accurate in my opinion. So there you go. So uh, he's in really great scale. So here's Warg, and uh, this is where this pack really shines. Um, I thought this would be a cool little guy, and I hoped he had some decent articulation, uh, but he was just extremely awesome, much better than I thought, and uh, yeah. So as far as the face sculpt, incredible. Really well sculpted. Love the way they sculpted the hair, the teeth, the, glum, the gums, and uh, the tongue. Just everything is sculpted. Incredible. I like how the eyes don't have a pupil. They're just gold. Makes it uh, look very menacing. But he is just awesome. 
really extremely well done, and uh, he does have a little red mark in there. I don't know if this is, there's like little red pieces on him, I don't know if that's like uh, scratches on him, or if that's just actual paint, I'm not sure, because um, they could have just painted their, uh, their, their wolves, whatever these things are, and uh, to look like that, but I don't know. But the hair just throughout is really cool, really love the colors, it's got some uh, black hair back here with uh, some like yellow on the edges and stuff, looks awesome, some more of those red details, and the, uh, the texture and the detail of the fur goes throughout this figure. Really cool, really like the paws, they're really well done. There's another one, piece of red, and yeah. Overall, incredible sculpting on this guy. Really fantastic. As far as articulation, it's really great. Baldrin head, he's got a hinged jaw, which is awesome. He can really open a lot. You can uh, get him in some really cool, complex poses, which is great. He's got a hinge at the bottom of the neck, which is awesome. Really allows you to do a lot of cool things. You can have him look down way far or just look straight on. Really neat. He's got a swivel uh, shoulders, hinge swivel elbow. Elbows, yeah, and uh, hinge swivel um, ankles, and then he's got a uh, ball jointed upper torso, which is really nice and goes side to side and up and down. He's got swivel uh, thighs, hinge swivel knees, and hinge swivel ankles. Then he's got a ball hinge tail. Really well done. I mean, this this thing ex just excels in all categories: paint, sculpt, uh, articulation, detail. It is just it's beautiful. I can't find a problem with this guy. Really fantastic. Lots of great articulation and uh, this is an absolute just beautiful uh, character here. They they couldn't have did it better. They did it perfect. So now uh, let's get um, Fimble on uh, Warg. So here's Fimble writing Warg and as you can see looking incredible. Really love the way that they had him ride him. I wasn't sure what these figures, what their articulation was like when I got him. So I wasn't sure if he'd have the capability to actually ride him and he does which is really fantastic as you can see. Really awesome. This is how the uh, the loincloth kind of bends because in order to have him down a little bit more you'd have to bend it unfortunately. But overall looks really fantastic. And he, he's quite stable. I mean, standing on your shelf, you will have no problem with him. Uh, it's just picking him up and, you know, walking around with him or something. Then he might fall. But other than that, you're completely fine. There's uh, really no trouble. Uh, just overall looking incredible, which is really fantastic. Really love it. You can do a lot of sick poses with this guy. And, um, yeah, so just overall, this is one incredible set, I have to say. I really, really liked it. It retails for about $20, which I think is a steel um, because you know the Fimble I know I'm saying his name wrong so sorry but uh but the hunter he is definitely worth ten dollars I mean he's a perfectly fine basic figure they could easily sell him as a basic figure and uh, the wolf the wolf is worth I'd say fifteen dollars in my opinion so I'd say this is a twenty five dollar pack for twenty highly recommended by me um the only thing that's a little interesting is I don't understand why they picked this guy to be um to do this with because um he was, he's not a very main, uh, character in the movie out of the orcs. I mean, uh, they could have easily picked the orc that, uh, that, that, um, the defiler killed, you know, that, that was a main orc. They showed him a lot. He talked a lot. This guy, he really didn't do anything. He was kind of standing behind that guy, that orc, uh, when he got killed. But other than that, this guy doesn't do much. Um, so it's, it, it is interesting that they decided to make him the figure, but they did, and I'm really happy for it. And overall, it is an incredible pack, and I highly recommend it.